Welcome back to the second Palm Drive tutorial. Let's jump right in. Yeah, here we are in a not so fresh Blender scene um, because I want to go ahead uh, with the result of the last tutorial. And if you want to follow this one, um, yeah, you have to uh, make uh, this tutorial. So I will put a link here uh, for this tutorial. So um, yeah, let's get started with this one. Um, today we want to um, bring in here uh, yeah, the new palms here on the other side. Shift the camera a little bit and the background. And yeah, let's go. Um, let's jump here into the geometry nodes because we want to um, bring this one to the other side and um, that's a quick one so uh, let's um, you know, hide our empties now and bring back here our road let's jump here into the geometry nodes and what we have to do is a little thing let's search here for a join geometry and put this here in between and we need another transform and we want to put this transform here in between so um yeah link the transform to the transform and this one here to the geometry and we want to put this to the other side and that will be uh, minus 8.2 and now we have um yeah these uh, palm trees here on the other side yeah because we want to have uh, another shot here from uh from another other camera angle we can just duplicate this camera here now and let's jump into this one and i want to make a quick uh, adjustments here now for this camera so let's uh, go here with something like 2.7 minus 7.6 and in the z value we can go with point or now I want to rotate um, this camera to 69. Let's leave this by zero and we want to go with 17 point. And yeah, we had a, a camera offset here or camera shift and we can bring this back here to zero. And I want to go with the focal length of 24. So, and now we can see that we are driving now here in our scene but um yeah <laughs> the background is not on the right position so um let's bring this one here uh into this um right direction so uh, let's select here this um this picture and now we can put this here to 9.3 is a good value but i want to go here with a uh, um 134 and now let's see here 34.6 uh, let's leave the 90 degrees here but um, yeah, we have to change the z value and i want to scale the x and uh, y dimension here now to uh, 432 by 288 now uh, that looks a little bit better here but as you can see our camera uh, didn't show here the background so to fix this um, we have to increase here um, the clip hand to 500 yeah but uh, there's uh, one problem here with the sides so um, i think the perspective is okay but um, yeah, we can see here the water from this background and to uh, get rid of this we can put here something in place so um, let's hit back here to our um, to our road <clears throat> and now we can add here the, the landscape um, if you don't have this landscape uh, in your uh, in your menu you can search here for a and no sorry you can search here for landscape 
ANT and enable this one. And let's bring back, bring in here the landscape. And yeah, we want to, um, yeah, let's see where it is here. Now, maybe let's go here to the sort mode. Now we have to make changes to put uh, the landscape here. Uh, yeah, to the right of our palm trees. So let's change the dimensions to 20 by 40 by 1.6. And I want to put this here to 14 and 0 and 0. Now this one fits perfectly here uh, to our road. And um, yeah, let's uh, make a quick extra stuff here on it. So we want to use here now a sand texture from Ambient CG. Uh, let's select here our landscape and yeah, we have to go here into the object mode, new material, sand, press control, shift and T. And we want to select here the ground 54. We need the occlusion map the color map we want to use here the normal map and the roughness let's bring this one here in and it looks a little bit weird now so we have to change here now some settings so let's bring in uh, the connection here from the uv to vector to generate it to vector and we want to change the scale to four or a little bit smaller and yeah we have a uh, ambient occlusion map but <laughs> uh, this uh, is not imported here by the node wrangler so uh, we have to do this by hand let's duplicate here the base color with shift and d want to connect here the um, vector this one and we want to select here now uh, the occlusion map and now we have to um, bring this one in here let's search here for a mix rgb bring this one here in between and let's put this one the occlusion map here in the second color channel and uh, the only thing which we have to do now is bring this here to uh, multiply and I like to put this one here a little more realistic realistic uh -huh. um, and now and I think that's it for uh, for this one here yeah, look, we have to put the light over uh, later so and the second thing is now let's put the landscape here into the road and now I want to bring uh, over, uh, bring a second landscape over here to the left side. Let's press Shift and uh, let's press Shift and D. And now we need only a minus 14 sand uh, thing here on that left side. Okay, that's our road. Finally, I think um, let's enable this one here again. A palm and yeah one thing is now when we are going here into the layout maybe uh, let's render this and we can see that um yeah the road <laughs> um ends here and to fix this really quick we want to um duplicate uh two roadblocks here now so let's um select this one press shift and d and shift it uh, by 40 so that's 120 now and let's do the same thing again because we get here a little gap now um shift and d and 160. And now we have the loop here which will uh, fit perfectly yeah, the only thing which we have to change now is the light. So let's make this here. Uh, let's use here our light. We want to bring this to another position. So let's change this uh, by this X value to zero. 
134 and 20. And yeah, because it's a point light, the rotation doesn't matter. And yeah, let's bring this up here because our light is really far away uh, with another uh, zero here. And I like to change the color a little bit. Let's pick here some orangey or more orangey. Uh, let's see which we can. I think that's a little bit better. And I want to increase here now uh, the radius to 10. So it's not so bright here on one spot. And yeah, shadows is okay. Everything like it is. And yeah, one little thing for me now is I added a little bit of um, depth of field so we can <laughs> um, yeah, make a little more focus here. Um, so let's enable here the depth of field. And I selected here uh, the car and I uh, changed the f-stop to point seven so we're having here a little bit now that of field going on that was this tutorial and if you want to see more stuff with deloreans and cars and stuff like that please let me know if you want to support me follow my youtube channel and check out my gumroad or the number see you there and bye